decorated by DePrado Studios and Statuary Company of Chicago, Illinois. The Eucharistic symbols of vines, grapes, and wheat are abundant throughout the chapel. The vine, one of the most vivid symbols in the Bible, expresses the relationship between God and all people. One of the most familiar phrases from the New Testament of the Bible is, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. John chapter 15, verse 5. The vines serve as a reminder of Jesus' teaching that believers are blessed with life from Christ, the true vine. The vineyard is the protected place where the children of God, the vines, flourish under the tender care of God, the keeper of the vineyard. The vine, as the emblem of Christ, describes the relationship between God and all people. Grapes are symbolic of the blood shed by Jesus on the cross for the forgiveness of sin and the fruitfulness of the Christian life. Wheat is a symbol used not only to suggest the bounty of the earth, but is also a symbol for the Eucharist, Jesus as the bread of life. Wheat also is a symbol from Jesus' parables to represent believers. Since 1930, the sisters have prayed before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration for the needs of the Church, their Franciscan community, and intentions that were shared by telephone, mail, face-to-face, -face, and through their website. Originally, adoration was 24 hours a day. Recently, the schedule has been modified to several hours per day. Behind the throne of adoration is a mural of the Blessed Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father holds a scepter in his left hand, a symbol of authority, while in his right hand, he gestures to God the Son. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3, verse 17. Beneath the scepter is a globe, representing his authority over all things. His halo includes a triangle, the symbol of the Trinity. God the Son raises his right hand in blessing as he holds a book in his left hand with the letters Alpha and Omega, first and last letters of the Greek alphabet, referencing that God is the beginning and the end. His halo includes a cross, the symbol of salvation. God the Holy Spirit is depicted as a dove. The halo includes rays of light, the symbol of grace. The six angels are in an attitude of praise as they hold trumpets and adoration as they hold a thurible with incense. The ceiling features murals of men and women who were known for their adoration to the Eucharist. They are illustrated within a frame that is similar in design to the monstrance. St. Peter Julian Imard, born on February 4, 1811, and died on August 1, 1868, was born in Lemur, France, and entered the seminary at Grenoble, where he was ordained in 1834. After serving as a parish priest, he joined the Marist and in 1845 became their provincial at Lyons. He established the Servants of the Blessed Sacrament, whose nuns devoted themselves to perpetual adoration. 
St. Charles Borromeo, Bishop of Milan, born on October 2, 1538, and died on November 3, 1584, was one of the figures of the Catholic Reformation. He brought the Blessed Sacrament to the sick and dying during a great plague. St. Pascal Balon, a Franciscan brother and mystic, born on May 24, 1540, and died on May 17, 1592, had a love of the Blessed Sacrament and defended the doctrine of the real presence of Christ. St. Barbara, born in the mid-3rd century and martyred around the year 306, was raised a heathen. Her father kept her secluded in a tower. While there, she gave herself to prayer and study about the Eucharist. She found a way to receive instruction and baptism from a priest. Her father denounced her, torturing and beheading her. While her soul was being borne by angels to paradise, a flash of lightning struck her father. St. John was born in the first century and martyred around the year 90. Tradition tells us that he heard Jesus say, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. John chapter 6, verse 35. Over the entrance is a mural of Christ falling beneath the weight of the cross, a reminder of how Jesus' death opened the gates of heaven to all believers. The left balcony transept features two paintings. In 1244, Saracen mercenaries who were fighting for the Roman Emperor Frederick attacked the city of Assisi, Italy. When they reached the convent where Claire and the sisters of her religious community lived, they began to climb up the wall. Despite her frail health, Claire took a monstrance, holding a consecrated host, and placed it on the wall. She prostrated herself before the real presence of Jesus and began to pray. The Saracens were overcome with fear and fled. St. Clair of Assisi, born on July 16, 1194, and died on August the 11th, 1253, was the eldest daughter of Favorino Sifi, a wealthy representative of an ancient Roman family in Artellana who belonged to the noble family of Fium. When Artellano was pregnant, an angel appeared to her and said that her child would be a light that would illuminate the world. The child was named Chiara, Claire, a word that means light. St. Claire was one of the first female followers of St. Francis of Assisi. She founded the Order of Poor Ladies, a monastic religious order for women. Following her death, the order was renamed in her honor as the Order of St. Clair, commonly referred to today as the Poor Clares. Her life was spent in prayer because of her great love for Christ in the Blessed Sacrament. She lived a life of sacrifice, penance, and poverty. The American province of the Hospital Sisters of St. Francis Coat of Arms represents the history, traditions, and ideals of the community. On the left is an eagle crowned with a halo and standing on a book. This eagle represents St. John the Evangelist patron saint of the Hospital Sisters' first mother house and hospital in Springfield, Illinois, founded on November the 11th, 1875. On the right, the circle with wavy lions represents springs in a field, a symbol of Springfield. 
The five stars designate the first branch houses of the community, Springfield, Belleville, Litchfield, Effingham, and Alton. Even though more locations followed, the number of stars was confined to five to also represent the five holy wounds of Jesus. Surrounding the shield is the Franciscan cord with its knots, representing the vows to which each sister professes, poverty, chastity, and obedience. Beneath the shield is the phrase, Caritas Christi Omnia Vincet, the charity of Christ conquers all. The right balcony transept features two paintings, St. Francis kneeling in deep gratitude for the great gift of the Eucharist. The mural in the background shows Jesus with his apostles at the Last Supper. The Franciscan coat of arms, the crossed arms of Christ and St. Francis, with the words, Deus meus et omnia, my God and my all. This traditional Franciscan emblem shows the crossed arms of Jesus and St. Francis, representing St. Francis' faithful following of Christ's teachings in his life. The cross, the symbol of the Christian faith, and the sheaves of wheat, a symbol of the Holy Eucharist, represent the central force and dominating love in every sister's life.